Hello there, continuing on with the celebrity makeup bag series. I promise my plan wasn't to work my way down the royal family tree, but the most requested person to follow my Meghan Markle makeup video was her soon-to-be sister-in-law, Kate Middleton. I got lucky with Meghan's makeup and already owned all but two of the products she uses, but there are a few more gaps in my Kate collection. As much as I'd like to go shopping every time I shoot one of these, I want to be able to give tried and tested reviews and not show anything that I wouldn't actually use myself. So in this case, there are a few dupes. Kate has quite a similar look to Megan actually. Fresh skin, dark eyeliner, and they have a few favourite products in common. The Duchess of Cambridge is a Laura Mercier tinted moisturiser fan, like Megan. This is a serious celebrity and royal favourite apparently. Lightweight, sheer coverage that gives your skin a great glow. As does the YSL Touche Club face highlighter pen. Another one she and Megan can share. Mine has completely run out, sorry, can't show you a swatch, but this is a great cream product for brightening under eye circles. Kate is a big Bobbi Brown fan. She uses their brow products and a blush called Pale Pink that's actually quite bright. She tends to go for pinky, peachy blush shades, so I've come up with a couple of similar options. The Chanel Jus Contrast Blush in Espiegel, or Espiegle, is one of my favourite peaches with a slight shimmer. Sadly an old shade now, but Nars Orgasm is a great dupe for it, and that's Megan's favourite. Otherwise, the Nars Matte Multiple Stick in Exhumus is a pretty orange. Very strong in the tube, but you can blend it out to be quite subtle. Now, sadly, I'm not going to tell you that Kate Middleton wears Glossier. She might, now that they're available in London, who knows? But her favourite highlighter is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Pink Quartz, so I had to come up with some alternatives. Glossier Haloscope in Quartz is a pretty, slightly pink champagne colour, but nowhere near as pink as the Shimmer Brick would be. The Pat McGrath Labs Nude Shiny Stick is a nice champagne colour, but again, more yellow than pink. Both create quite a lit from within glow though when you blend them in, and that comes to mind when you think of Kate's makeup. Yes, you are seeing right this time, the Duchess uses Urban Decay. She does her own makeup using the original Naked palette and reportedly likes the shade Toasted. I only have the Naked 2, but the shades Chopper, Tease and YDK look like the sorts of tones she wears. She goes for quite matte shadows generally, so the Little Urban Decay Basics palettes also have a better range of Kate-like colours. Eyeliner has always been a major part of Miss Middleton's look, hasn't it? She uses the Lancome Art Liner Precision Felt Tip Pen, but I'd suggest the La Roche-Posay Respectissime Intense Liquid Eyeliner as an affordable alternative. It has a really tiny felt tip too, so you can be really precise. Otherwise, she goes for the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner Pot, but I have the Clinique Brush On Cream Liner. You can't get quite as thin as the pen, but it's great for getting that thick liner look like Kate often wears. Her mascara is Lancome Hypnos. This is Hypno Star, slightly different version, with a double-sided sort of brush so you can add volume with one side and length with the other. Wedding makeup alert! This is the exact lipstick Kate wore to Westminster Abbey on the 29th of April 2011, and no, I did not have to look that date up. I remember going home from work to watch it. The lovely Bobbi Brown makeup artist Hannah Martin did Kate and Pippa's makeup on the day, so you can read a full breakdown of the products below. Hannah also has a YouTube channel, so I'll leave that linked too. This is the shade Sand Wash Pink, a pretty peachy pinky nude in the bullet, but it actually goes on very pink. I'm not a huge pink lippy person myself, so I tend to apply a light layer and blend with my finger to make it look more natural. Which actually reminds me of the NARS Matte Lip Pencil in Bettina. It's not a bad dupe for that kind of nudie pink. Kate keeps it classic on her nails and Essie Ballet Slippers is said to be a favourite. Same Kate, I've been using it for years. Such an easy sheer pink that makes your nails look sophisticated like a quick French manicure without the fuss. Jo Malone has really got a monopoly on the royal perfume market, hasn't she? Kate had Jo Malone orange blossom candles burning in Westminster Abbey underneath those beautiful trees on her wedding day. I'm more into her floral scents. I've been wearing red roses for years, but I also like Wild Bluebell, which is one of Megan's favourites. To finish, a little non-beauty treat, because I actually have a couple of pairs of earrings that Kate has famously worn. These are the Lynx of London Hope Egg Silver and White Topaz earrings she wore in her engagement shoot by Mario Testino. They're quite a striking silver drop earring. They really stand out against her and my dark hair. And another Lynx of London pair, the Effervescence Bubble Sterling Silver Drop Earrings. A very fine chain with a little lavender iolite stone at the top and a ball at the end that's covered in tiny silver bubbles. She wore this to a gala during Kate and Will's first appearance after the wedding and a few times since. I love that. Despite having the crown jewels at her disposal, she'll regularly rewear items she's fond of. Hope you enjoyed having a look at another royal makeup lover's collection. Hers, not mine by the way, I'm just a royal makeup lover, but she's a royal makeup lover. <laughs> Please let me know which celebrity makeup bag you'd like to see next. I've got quite a few Aussie and British ideas up my sleeve. See you next time.